Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the lecture 4 and I have been getting requests regarding it. So here is Stephen Boltzmann law derivation. Now you know Stephen Boltzmann law, it gives that total emissive power is equal to sigma t to the power 4 watt. Now how this law is derived? I will show in the video step by step procedure so you can derive. Before starting with the video, I would like to say that if you are new to this channel, please subscribe by pressing the subscribe button below and if you find this video helpful, please give it a big like and do check out my other videos in the description below and if you have any doubt, please mention in the comments. Now let us start with the video. So Stephen Boltzmann law. It gives as total emissive power is equal to 0 to infinity 2 pi h c naught square d lambda upon lambda to the power 5 exponential h c naught upon lambda k t minus 1 where h is equal to 6.6 .6 into 10 power minus 34 joule second that is Planck's constant c naught is velocity of light that, is, that you all know k is Boltzmann constant 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23 joule per kelvin and to derive it, I have taken x is equal to hc0 upon lambda kt. This term hc0 upon lambda kt is equal to x. So dx is equal to minus d lambda upon lambda square hc0 by kt. Okay. And from here lambda is equal to hc0 by x kt from this relation. Now since the limit of lamb lambda were 0 to infinity, so limit of x will be infinity to 0. How? By putting lambda is equal to 0, you get x is equal to infinity and by putting lambda is equal to infinity, here you get x is equal to 0. So the, so the limit will get changed from infinity to 0 and the remaining term will be like 2 pi c naught upon lambda cube minus kt dx by exponential x minus 1. How this came? From here since dx is equal to minus d lambda by lambda square hc0 by kt so i have taken hc0 d lambda this numerator term one side and is equal to minus lambda square kt dx this all goes to other side why i have taken hc0 d lambda because in the numerator of our integral here hc0 square d lambda is there so we can separate out one c0 and remaining is hc0 d lambda so we can substitute it directly I have substituted it so it becomes minus kt dx now this lambda is square and here it was lambda to the power 5 so it cancelled and here it remains lambda cube ok so finally after changing the integral it becomes like this and finally we put lambda is equal to hc0 by x k t. this term here lambda we put hc0 by x k t to convert the whole integral in x form now so it becomes finally this lambda is put as hc0 by x k t whole cube int integral 0 to infinity now since here after putting we were getting minus minus sign here since there hc0 d lambda is equal to minus lambda square k t dx but the limit was infinity to 0 so i have changed the limit again back to 0 to infinity and this minus becomes plus this is the property of definite integral okay so 0 to infinity 2 pi c naught by e and uh, eb is equal to hence we get this after manipulating and separating out the constant terms the constant terms are 2 pi c naught k t and k t cube by h, h cube c naught cube and integral that is only x cube and exponential x minus 1 this is within the integral and rest is treated as constant as in and taken out of the integral so here we get x cube here it was x cube so after going up it will go inside and so x cube now this is this can be taken out of the integral whole term and uh, x cube dx upon exponential x minus 1 0 to infinity this is the standard integral which you can find easily in any math uh, graduation level book this integral turns out to be pi to the power 4 by 15 this result so our answer is eb is equal to 
टू पाई सी नॉट k टू दावर फोर t टू द पावर फोर बाई एच क्यूब सी नॉट क्यूब इन टू पाई टू दावर फोर बाई फिफ्टीन नाउ न्यूमिनेटर देर इज सी नॉट एंड डिनोमिनेटर सी नॉट क्यूब सो इन डिनोमिनेटर सी नॉट स्क्वायर रिमेंस एंड रेस्ट इज टेकन एज कॉन्स्टेंट सो ई बी इज इक्वल टू टू पाई टू द पावर फोर के टू द पावर फोर बाई फिफ्टीन एच क्यूब सी नॉट स्क्वायर इन टू टी टू दी पावर फोर नाउ दिस टू पाई टू दी पावर फाइव के टू दी पावर फोर बाई फिफ्टीन एच क्यूब सी नॉट स्क्वायर आफ्टर सॉल्विंग यू गेट फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन इंटू टेन पावर माइनस एट वाट पर मीटर स्क्वायर कैलून टू दावर फोर सो दिस इज नोन एज स्टीफन बोल्समैन कॉन्स्टेंट एंड सो ना फाइनल इक्वेशन ई बी इज इक्वल टू सिगमा टू टू दावर फोर वी कैन रिप्लेस दिस बाय सिगमा एंड सो आर डिजायर्ड आउटपुट दैट इज स्टीफन बोल्समैन Law total emissive power of a black body is equal to sigma to the power four. It is proved. Here k is Boltzmann constant 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23 joule per kelvin. H is Planck's constant 6.6 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second. C naught is velocity of light 2.998 10 to the power 8 meter per second. And once you put in this this term, this is as constant. So if you put k, h, and c naught here. And evaluate. You will definitely get 5.67 into 10 power minus 8 watt per meter square Kelvin to power 4. But here you should understand that because the power are so much negative. So if you multiply in any calculator, uh, whether it is FX 82, FX 100, FX 991, any, so you will get output as as zero if you multiply whole in one step. So you will not multiply whole in one step. First, you you can multiply two pi to the power five by fifteen and take as constant and multiply k to the power four by eight separately. Then multiply uh, divide divide the whole expression by c naught square. Then divide the whole expression by h. Then divide the whole expression by h square. Or the other way round, you can you have to break. This into other parts like two pi to the power five by fifteen, you evaluate first, and h h cube you evaluate uh, uh, second term, c naught square you evaluate third term, k to the power four you evaluate uh, next term. Now multiplying step by step, that is two pi to the power five into k to the power four, you take as numerator. Now divide by H cube. You don't go for H cube directly in the calculator because my power is minus 34. So after multiplying three times, it becomes above 100. So it will give zero. So here you break into H and H square. Then here also, here you can go for C naught square directly because power is positive. So I hope you get it. So two pi to the power five by 15. You evaluate. First, k k square into k square. Take as k square into k square. Evaluate second whole multiply. That is, you get numerator term. That is two pi to the five by fifteen and k k to the power four. This is solved. And then divide by h. Then divide by h square. Then divide by c naught square. So you have to solve it step by step because. powers are very negative in k and h and if you solve in the calculator this will turn out to be zero the whole answer will become zero if you solve in one step by taking brackets so i am telling you the way to get the answer 5.67 to 10 minus 8 is that you go for step by step that is you solve first numerator then you solve by uh, solve denominator that to keeping in the mind that H cube will turn out to be power greater than hundred, so negative hundred. So you break it into H and H square or H into H into H. Other anyway, you solve and then divide the numerator by denominator. You will get this. This is known as the Stephen Boltzmann constant, and hence E B is equal to sigma t t to the power four. And uh, I hope you guys understood the video, and and if you have any doubt. regarding this video or if you want me to make 
any video uh, that you want to understand any topic or any any sub topic regarding in engineering and uh, especially in mechanical engineering domain so you can mail me or you can mention in the comments below if you have found this video helpful please give a like and to get more of my videos please click in the links in the description and subscribe to my channel by pressing the subscribe button thank you and i will see you in next time in the next video okay bye